Okay, just another um, border and uh, way to put a name, a title on. I'm going to, I already dragged my picture, so in my layers I have my picture layer and my background layer. Select the background layer, choose this um, square marquee tool. You can do view, show grid. I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to eyeball it here because I only have uh, five minutes for our video. But you should show the grid so you know everything's um, centered. Image adjustments, exposure. This time I'm going to turn up the gamma to get a richer color. And then turn down the exposure a little bit. So I have a nice dark border. And then I'll go back up to my picture layer. Edit. Stroke. And then for my stroke, instead of the dark color, I'm going to go light. I'm going to, I can choose any color here, but when I move off, you get your eyedropper tool, and I'm just going to suck up the color that's in the um, book itself. Hit OK. I'm going to go with a 45 inch width. Make sure inside is checked. There we go. That looks very nice. Okay. So then I'm going to put, um, I have my names and date here, they just happen to be on my picture, uh, but what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to merge everything. So now everything's on one, on one layer. Go up to my marquee tool, and I'm just going to um, select this area below, and I'm just going to try to center it under the book. A little bit smaller. Again, show your grid. This time I'm going to hit Edit, Cut. And I just cut that out. I'm going to fill it in with a color from my book. Select my dropper tool. Pick this color. And my paint bucket. Go on to here and fill that in. Okay, now for my text, hit my text tool and my eyedropper tool again. I'm going to select the dark color this time. Text, click in here, Gemma and Steve, my move tool, and then I move my text right on. Okay, so there's just another way to do the cover. And while I have the text selected, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. Or, you know what, I'll choose a different text because I want something more bold. Let's see. We'll go with this. It's kind of plain, but that's okay. And let me see what another one looks like. That's nice. I'll use that one and I'll make it a little bit bigger. That's nice. That's a good size. Okay. And then uh, again, you can show the grid so you have it exactly even. And I'm going to layer, flatten image which will merge both of my layers. And then File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as Gemma Steve Cover. One, hit Save. And then when you're saving it, this window will pop up. And what you want to do for the quality, put it all the way to 12 if it's not already, and then hit OK. And that's it. Uh, you can buy my cover templates at albumcovertemplates.com. Thank you.